Hello everyone. You may know this, you may not know this, but let me say it. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, you know, you may believe that is pretty much all you have to do, like now that you are living for Jesus Christ, you may believe you are okay now. And usually, I don't think that is the case. When you first give your life to Jesus Christ, I believe there are going to be qualities within yourself that have to change. Like, let's say you are in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever. And let's say you have been pretty much doing whatever you want to do for many years. And now let's say you want to be a disciple of Christ. Is it possible for you to very quickly change into how Jesus Christ wants us to be in an instant? I don't think so. I believe there have to be a growing process. I hope this makes sense. Yes, you have given your life to Jesus Christ, but the way you are now is not good. I believe there is a question or whatever. Is it possible for a Christian to have a demon? And I think absolutely yes. Because once you repent of your sins and begin following Jesus Christ, let's say you have been sinning for many years. Do you believe all those demons are going to like run away after you have confessed Jesus Christ as your savior? I don't think so. I believe there have to be a purging process. Purging the bad qualities within yourself into having a Christ-like character. I believe if you look at, I believe it is Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23, I think. I believe it speaks about the fruit of the Spirit. And, and if I am quoting those scriptures correctly, those are the attributes we need to have. So I don't believe once you give your life to Jesus Christ, you are perfect the way you are at that moment. I hope this makes sense. You have to grow. You have to progress into what Christ wants us to be. So I believe one of the ways we become better in Christ is through issues. So if you are having issues, let me say this. If you know that your character is not that great, Expect issues to come your way to better you. Now, I have grown from the way I was to now, but I still need to grow more. I still need to better myself.
So what do you believe is going to happen to me? I believe I will have to face or continue to face challenges that is going to test me. Whether it is in the category of patience, um, humility, what else? Meekness or whatever else, whatever character, whatever char category there is. I hope this makes sense. The way you are now, more than likely, you need to change more. So problems coming your way should be expected. Yes, you can fast. Yes, you can pray. But expect problems. Let me say this too. I have been, I have read so much in the New Testament and I am reading in the Old Testament. And as it seems, I am learning more and more of God's character. And I guess some people say that the devil is doing this, the devil is doing that. The way I see it, honestly, this is not so much about the devil. And you may say, Kevin, what are you talking about? Of course, the devil is doing stuff, and I am not saying he isn't, but when I read the Bible, <laughs> I truly believe God is in so much control of this world. It is as if, in my opinion, and I believe this to be true, it is as if God has us here testing us all. Like, I think there are some pictures depicting, I guess, like Jesus versus the devil, as in Jesus versus Satan. It is not even that way. Not even that way. I believe Jesus Christ has so much influence and power over this world where I believe and I believe this to be true that the devil Satan I would say this and you may say I am wrong but I truly believe the devil Satan is working for Jesus Christ you may say I am wrong, but the more I read, the more I ask for understanding and stuff like that, we are, I truly believe, we are on a testing grounds. Testing ground. This earth. And I believe life the way that life is, I truly believe this whole life is pretty much about testing. Hey, what are you going to do in this situation? How are you going to react? Are you going to react based upon the Bible or are you going to react based upon your carnal nature? I'm, I am telling you. So I guess you can say Satan is doing this, Satan is doing that. Ultimately, what I understand of the Bible, Satan can't really do anything unless he is allowed to. I truly believe God is in control 100% in this world. And if you read in the Old Testament, it was God 
that was destroying people. It was God that was bringing wars. It was God that was doing the plagues and stuff like that. So <laughs> how can you say Satan is doing this and that? Yes, I guess he is doing something, but ultimately, I believe it is God that is really doing damage in this world based upon, I believe, people's disobedience to him. So I don't think it is so much about Satan. No, I think some people really fear him. And I guess I can understand why, but if anyone, I believe people should fear God more than Satan, because if you read in the Old Testament, it is God that was doing, I would say, the majority of the damage. So I hope this all makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.